Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farm and Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. Hey, it's time for another mod showcase. As you can see, we're here at the uh, shop, and uh, look at there. Y'all know I've been talking about sprayers lately if you've been uh, watching the Hull Hose map because we are doing the um, uh, soil mod on it, and it in tells a whole lot of spraying through several growth stages of the plants and i was talking the other day about a high boy uh that to spray with and uh one of the viewers i believe it was captain d 43 sent me a link to this john deere uh 4730 which um it's exactly what i was describing in the video this is the kind of sprayer that i see uh, around my house all the time typically they have crop guards uh, over the tires in the front so as they you know they row tall row crop tires with crop guards on the fronts of them which is like a little wedge it's like a fender that goes all the way across the front of the tire and it's sort of wedged so that as you go through the crop it it can just kind of feathers it around the tire uh, and then the tires, uh, then the, the frame is, is jacked up on large struts. And, um, and it's a typical John Deere tractor. Unlike the Amazon over here, uh, which is made, well, you know, pretty much like the Amazon in game. Uh, but it usually, usually on these guys, they have really tall height clearances uh, for spraying corn, cotton, um, just about any kind of crop they spray with them. Uh, but I see them a lot around in my area. And so I was wanting one really a lot for the game. And, uh, I got this link from Captain D 43 and, um, you'll probably see me play it in whole hosen simply because I need a mod like this. Um, but I thought I would showcase the mod for you before I put it in the game and show you some of the deficiencies of it. And, um, the things that don't really like about the mod, but uh, to be honest with you, I probably am going to play it a little bit uh, simply because it's all that's out there. Uh, so let's take a look at it and we'll just kind of walk around that. Let you take a look at this thing and immediately you're going to notice a couple of things and why I have the uh, Amazon sitting right here next to it. The guy who modded this basically took a lot of the parts off of this to make this and, um, so uh, another reason I don't really like it. The booms are straight off the Amazon. Uh, they're just painted black. Everything about the booms is off the Amazon. Um, another part that came off the Amazon. Look at these hubs. See how the hub is and how it's got that piece that comes out front right there on that plate. Just look at that hub. Now let's go underneath the Amazon and look at this hub. It's the exact same hub. See how the detailing is it? And it's got the plate that the shock mounts into on the front of it. It is the exact hub right here. So he basically just ripped off that hub and uh, put it on this, uh, this particular mod. And then you get the shock, then the struts. Which these are sh uh, struts on the real version. As you go across the field, they would take a, a lot of the shock uh, going across the field. The body of it is pretty much pretty well modded. The uh, real version of the 4730 has a uh, retractable ladder in the front of it that folds up. Uh, and um, pretty much like I said, attic stairs or whatever. You get up in it and then you fold them back up so they clear all the... Crop. This piece right here wouldn't be sitting down uh, for you to clip into. It would actually fold up um, so you wouldn't drag that through the crop. Uh, then you've got these side markers. Look at this. This one just, it's not even in the right place. It's just, and the other two are weird. And they're on this side, but they're not on this side. So little odd um so yeah so there you have it um this is version two of this uh the original version one that i had that i almost did the review on uh was really really bad and you, you see right here there's zero clearance between this tire and the strut um there was actually uh no clearance 
um, on version one, the tire actually went halfway into the strut on uh, version one. Uh, so at least he's changed that to where it has mm, very little daylight showing at the top and none at the bottom. So um, is that being picky? Not really. Uh, I I believe modders, especially when they take other people's stuff and make a mod, uh, they need to be held accountable. So um, is it a great mod? No. Is it an okay mod? Yes. Um, Will it work for what we want it for? Yeah, but I'll show you some more problems with it. Uh, Interior-wise, yeah, that's kind of hokey right there. Um, that's not real good. Interior is really bland. I mean, the interior looks like something out of Farm Sim 13. Um, not real good. Mirrors, we're in, yeah, they don't work. No mirrors. Um, yeah. So let's start it up, see so here how it sounds. Yeah, sounds like a you know sound effect of every other tractor in the game. Um so yeah. Uh does it get dirty? No. Doesn't get dirty either. Now he does have dirt on the on the uh on the wings here, on the beams, spray beams. Uh that's only because Amazon had dirt on the spray beams. So yeah, he didn't. It doesn't get dirty. It's not washable. Um, so there's a whole lot about this that is wrong and not good. Uh, you know, and just to show you, if I get in the Amazon, got mirrors there. And yeah. So yeah. You know, and you can see little things like, if you look at the uh, the the tips on the beams on this, see how they're oblonged on this they're not like perfectly round anymore they're just sort of oblonged um, and then you go into the uh, Amazon and we look at those see how those are nice round disc but what he did was he took the rear end on the sprayer and in order to make it wide for this he just widened the mod out see how the beams are thicker See how all the beams and everything, see the size of them there? And if you come over here, they're beefier, wider. And then those plaques right there are oblonged. He just took, you know, the Amazon stretched it a little bit. So, yeah. It's this, you know, it's the sprayer off the Amazon with a John Deere tractor and the, the axles off of a... Amazon as well so it is what it is um, so I don't want anybody just thinking oh that's an awesome mod it's not that great um, am I gonna use it yeah just because I want something that represents um, what what I see here in my area and that's what this is um, but is it a mod that I would say run out and download immediately uh, no no is Moose going to use it? Yeah. Is uh, It'll only be on the Hulls Holzman map. You're not going to see it on any other map. It's just I want it on that map because we're going to do so much spraying. I want to be able to clear the crop and uh, and have something like this to do that with. So, yeah. So, we'll unfold it for you real quick and show you uh, that it does actually function. Uh, much like a real 4730 would in real life. Uh, in real life, they'd pull a truck up next to it. Back here on the back corner, there would be a down pipe that you would hook a hose into. And you would pump the liquids into it. You wouldn't use the filler cap on the top. Um, it would be filled up and then and they would take it out and do all their spraying work with it. But yeah, does the boom work? Of course it does. It's an Amazon boom. Um, so yeah, you turn it on, spray. And you can adjust the height of it to your field so if you want to get real low down there you can spray real low for your uh, your new seedlings or if you want to raise it up you can raise it all the way up and get it up over your corn uh, will it clear corn the boom wheel the frame doesn't but that's in full grown stage and I'll show you that we'll go ahead and pack this up and run 
Max speed for spraying is like 14 miles an hour. Uh, max run on the gear for on the street is going to be 14 miles an hour, or 32 miles an hour. Um, but yeah, you can see it clears wheat with no problem. Um, as it should. Uh, but what you really want this for is like, you know, canola, corn, sunflowers, things of that nature. Back home, I would see this bean fields, cotton fields, corn fields. So here's your corn field. And as you can see, the, the boom's going to clear the top of full grown corn, but the frame's not as we drill in but now your full growth stage corn like stage three isn't going to be as tall as this so the height is just about right i mean we had a little bit of debate earlier landy and i did about this whether the width uh or whether the um whether the unit was actually scaled right uh he maybe thought it was a little bit too wide um but after looking at videos and everything, it, the modeling on it is is pretty close. Um, but you can just definitely see that a lot of parts were ripped off of other things and and uh, used to make it. And uh, again, it doesn't get dirty. Uh, the mirrors don't work. So it, those are little things that bother me about mods that I normally would just throw them in the trash. You know, I would normally say that mod's junk. It's not worth it. And, uh, and I wouldn't put it in the game. And honestly, if this wasn't something that I wanted in the game and it wasn't the only option that was out there, I would say the same thing. It's junk. Um, you know, it does, it's not washable. The mirrors don't work. Uh, it's parts off of a, you know, the modeling's not that great on it. Um, you know, it's sort of cheesy. But it's something that uh, I want for that realism aspect so I will most likely add this into Holzhausen Holzhausen um, just because it's more of a representation of what I farm with uh, or what they farm with around me um, but again it's it's not something that I think is just a stellar mod so I wanted to run through it show it to you today show you all the little uh, ins and outs of it so that you would uh, know what I was talking about if I said well I don't really love this mod or whatever so it's got a couple of headlights on it um, and I do see some frame rate issues every every once in a while with it so um, I haven't seen any errors in the log so um, yeah I don't really see any errors with it so I don't have a problem with that part of it but there have been some frame rate issues when I've used it uh, testing it out and I don't know if that's the mod or what so um, I do have the patch in still so maybe the patch is messing with it a little bit I don't know um, but anyways let's check it out in the store so you guys can get the full gist of it um, it's under sprayers just like Amazon is and I'll show you the Amazon is uh, you know if you're getting the Amazon you'd be paying 245 310 a day and it's 4500 liters uh working with 41 meters this guy is uh well it's 245 it's 245 a day which is less than that 5000 liter capacity on there and it says the working width on it is 40 meters but if this one's 41 this one's 40 y'all know how that goes right and it rents for 816 an hour uh, so there it is for you, the John Deere 4730 sprayer. Um, I will put a link in the show notes in case anybody wants it. Um, but again, uh, it's not that great of a mod. Um, but it's it's what I've been looking for, so I'm going to add it into the game um, for a little bit of gameplay. Um, but I did, like I said, I wanted to give you guys the lowdown on it before you just see me pop it into the game and, uh, and let you know what it is. It's been around for a little bit of time now, um, so I'm just now finding it. Uh, thanks again to, uh, Captain D43, uh, for pointing it out to me. But anyways, so there it is, down and dirty, the 4730. Not the best mod in the world, but it'll do for now. 
until somebody comes out with something better. And if you're the guy who made this mod, um, fix all this stuff and make a dirty version of it and make the mirrors work and raise it up another two inches. And, um, yeah. Anywho. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and like this video. It does help me out quite a bit as I'm trying to build this channel up. If you're new to watching these videos, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I do do another video every single day. I try for them to be mostly farm sim videos. Every while and once in a while, I will sneak in gameplay from some other game uh that just tickles my fancy so uh, until our next video y'all stay safe have a great day and i will see you real soon bye bye